Hey guys, welcome back. So today I'm showing you five useful tips in iOS 11 that you probably didn't know. So by the end of this video, hopefully you learned something that you didn't know before. Uh, these are some hidden tips that I didn't know before I researched them. So yeah, let's go ahead and jump in and here are five tips that are hidden in iOS 11. So the first one is in the stocks application. Not many people use it, but now uh, that Bitcoin is actually getting popular, a lot of people have started using the stocks app to uh, track the price of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. So now that you're using uh, stocks, you may be wondering, uh, can you see the market cap and the percentage that these different stocks are up You know, without going into the more information below? You actually can. All you have to do is click the buttons uh, that are red or green, depending on how the stock is doing for that day, uh, to the right of each stock. So if I tap on Apple, you can see, you see the market cap, it just hit 900 billion, which is insane. Uh, you can see Google in the green. And uh, tap it again, it shows the percentage. So it looks like Apple's down a bit today and Google's up about 1.6%. And then tap it again, then it goes back to the dollar amount that the stock is up for that day. So just keep tapping it and it'll cycle through those three different modes uh, in the stocks app. So it is pretty useful to be able to see the market cap and the percentage that each stock is up without going into the more information below. Next up is in the camera app. So I think in iOS 10 or iOS 11, Apple actually hid the camera filters in the camera. A lot of people just thought they took them away because before there was an icon and whenever there's an icon there, people are reminded to go into that feature. Now there's no more buttons. So Apple is kind of trying to eliminate filters, I guess, but they're still here. They're not as good as Instagram, but they're still here. All you have to do is swipe up and then your uh, filters are here. So original, vivid, vivid, warm, uh, vivid, cool. Uh, like I said, they're not even as close to as good as Instagram, but if you want to do some filters before you take a photo or before you post it to social media, uh, it is built in uh, to the camera right here uh, without doing any third party editing. Uh, next up is the ability to type to Siri. So I knew this existed in iOS 11, but I never knew actually how to enable it. So in settings, if you go to accessibility, which is here and then scroll down to Siri, you can actually turn on type to Siri. So this is useful, let's say if you're in a public place, like on a plane or on a train or something, and you don't wanna to talk to your phone because you don't wanna sound stupid, I've been in that situation before, all you have to do is hold down the home button and then it comes up here. So what's the weather? And then right there. Here's the weather today. And it'll tell you the weather. So. It kind of defeats the purpose when Siri talks back to you. I guess you can turn down the volume, uh, but usually when you type uh, a question to your phone, it'd be nice if it came back completely silent because obviously you don't want to be uh, making noise or you're not in a situation where you want your phone uh, to be playing something out of the speaker. But anyway, it is pretty cool that you can type uh, whatever you want to Siri, just enable it in accessibility settings. So inside the clock application, Apple introduced this new mode called bedtime, I think in iOS 11. Uh, not many people use it, not many people have been talking about it, but that's not what I wanna talk about. So if we just skip through all these settings, there are a few new uh, sounds that are built in to iOS 11. So you can see uh, these are some new wake up sounds uh, that you can wake up to. Early riser, first light, Helios, orbit, bird song. Uh, these all sound pretty good. They all sound pretty soothing and they'd be nice to wake up to. I'm not gonna play them here just in case I get copyrighted by Apple. But yeah, uh, I didn't really know these were built in. They're not built into the regular clock app just when you're setting an alarm or something. But yeah, in the bedtime setting, there are new uh, wake up songs that you can choose uh, to wake up to. And honestly, they sound really nice and they're really soothing, uh, much better than the normal uh, sounds when you set a normal alarm. So that's number four. Our final one is number five and it is in settings and FaceTime. Now I can't go into FaceTime settings because it'll show, it'll show my uh, phone number and my email. But if you go into FaceTime settings and scroll down a little bit, there's an option that says live photo during FaceTime calls. If you switch that on, it's really cool. When you're, during, when you're in a FaceTime call, you can actually hit the shutter button, which is on the bottom right of your screen during a FaceTime call. And not only will it take a photo, but it'll take a live photo of whoever is in the photo. So uh, just like a normal live photo, it'll capture a few seconds of video before and after the photo. And uh, you can do that for FaceTime now. So it's kind of cool if you want to you know, pose for a photo with your friends that are across the world on a FaceTime call and you can take a photo and it's live. So you can uh, 3D touch on that photo when you're looking at it later and the photo comes to life. So it's pretty cool. And uh, not many people knew that uh, FaceTime had live photos. So you can enable that in settings under FaceTime and just turn on uh, live photos for FaceTime. Anyway guys, that is number five. Hopefully you enjoyed this. If you wanna see more uh, tip videos for iOS 11 and iOS 12 when it comes out, tell me in the comments below. Uh, drop a like if you liked it. If you didn't, that other button seems to work well too. 
Uh, my name is Mike. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.